What's going on, guys? Jada Black here. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about singer SZA. Now, there's been talk that she got work done for like, what, a couple of months now. It was never really confirmed until she spoke about it on some new music that she had done. Right now, there was also pictures circulating uh, as well. And listen, I'm not here to tell SZA how she should live her life. I'm not here to uh, be one of those people who uh, likes to police the actions of others. But I just see behavior. OK, and when you have SZA, there was nothing really wrong with her at all. As a matter of fact, her body type of, I would say, what, a year or two ago. Uh, was more of what a lot of guys, especially a lot of successful men, would go for. Now, maybe she felt like she wasn't getting anywhere with that, so she decided to go and get BBL work done. You see, this is the way of the Western woman, even celebrities, because SZA has dealt with her own insecurity issues as well that she spoke about in a, another article here. She talked about how you know, she dealt with bullying, and I think that might have dealt with her insecurities. There are people who believe that she had a nose job. They say her face is a, a bit different. Uh, I don't know. And, you know, the saddest things about this is that there are women in the comment section of one of these blog sites. I believe it might have been the Shade Room. I don't know. When they post, it might have been one of these other uh, blog sites, uh, Instagrams. They posted a picture of SZA you know, showing off her BBL. And there were women in the comment section talking about, uh, who's your doctor? All right. Now, these are the same women who are critical of other women who get BBLs because of how they look. A lot of those women do look weird. But they're like praising SZA for getting work done. Even though they'll be the main ones making fun of women who get work done because of how they look. But they're they're saying, you know, uh, who's your doctor? See, that's that's what's going on now. A lot of these women hate themselves. They claim that, you know, men are the ones with self-hate. Nah, I don't I don't think so. I don't think a lot of men have self-hate. I think a lot of this self-hate it, it is is coming from a lot of these women because they're the ones getting the surgeries. I don't see a lot of men getting surgeries to alter their faces or their bodies. But you have a lot of women out here who are doing that. They're trying to alter who they are. Because they truly do hate themselves. They hate who they were. They may have dealt with teasing and bullying, but that's why you see people get in the gym and work out. There are all these bigger butt making tutorials. Like these women took the time to do it. They, you know, see the results. But, you know, there are women who are praising her. Now, I've seen other photos of SZA, and it looks like, you know, she may have gotten a BBL, but neglected few other places like you got photos like this where people are saying that you no know, there might be some some belly there so maybe she just gained weight that could be what it is maybe she's fooling y'all <laughs> but but either way it, it, it matters not man because these are the decisions that they make they make these decisions which is their choice and they also have to live with those decisions decisions you can't do stuff like this and then later claim you did it because, you know, that's what men like. Y'all have to stop doing that. Y'all got to stop trying to blame men for your choices and your bodies. I mean, ultimately, it's up to you what you choose to do with your bodies. You cannot continue to say that it's because of men this and it's because of men that. That's just not going to work anymore. You're getting risky surgeries in order to look better for men that aren't even checking for you like that. That is the life of your typical westernized woman. She does so much for men who aren't even checking for her. So let's get into this article. We're going to get into this one first. R&B singer SZA seemingly confirmed on her latest album, SOS, that she had a BBL. Fans have speculated the singer had plastic surgery for years, but she hasn't officially said that she has. She seems to be giving some hint to it in a unique way throughout various songs on her latest album, SOS, on the track, Conceited. She said, I just got my body done, ain't got no guilt about it. I just heard your opinion. I could have did without it. Well, 
I will say this though. <clears throat> A lot of you women are getting your bodies done for the wrong reasons. It's not because of some self-confidence. It's because you're trying to compete with other women. That is the way of women. They will, they do, they, they love, not say love, but they are all about competing with other women. You see the attention other women get, you want that attention. In return, fans praise SZA for what they see as revealing the truth, her truth. And confessing in her music, she gave her fans a closer look at her curvy hips and thighs. In the Instagram photo dump on Tuesday, January 2nd, she shared exciting news about SOS sitting on top of the Billboard 200 album charts for the third week. Three weeks at number one, fully minding my business and not giving a F. Thank God, the 33-year-old wrote in a caption. As you can see there, that is from the uh, Instagram post. Sizzle's photo collage featured videos of herself smiling, wearing a bikini, and resting near the water. Top Dog's first lady also shared a screenshot of the Billboard article about the success of SOS. Congrats, you deserve it. You worked hard. A great album, wrote DJ Khaled, who expressed the sentiments to fans in the comments. Many shared other powerful messages and dozens of fire hearty emojis. As you can see there, that's a photo of that. Listen, I have no problems with her success you know this this me speaking on this is not about her success and me not liking it it's just the messaging i think women like SZA are sending the message that you know what even though i have a six i have a you know a career that i'm thriving in you know ultimately you still need to go get that work done in order to feel good about yourself do you know how many women are risking their lives to go to these foreign countries to get this work done that she has on her body. Like if you're going to, if you're going to promote getting a BBL, then you should tell them who your doctor is. I, I know that she hasn't done that because she doesn't want y'all to know who her doctors are because she doesn't want y'all to try to compete with her. So what she's going to do is she's going to put it out there that she has no shame about getting a BBL but she's not going to tell you the, the risks that it takes in getting one. She's not going to recommend where you should go to get one. She's going to ambiguously put it out here. Now, again, I'm not saying that she's a bad person, but I just don't, you know, look at all the women that have lost their lives due to this. And none of these women in entertainment are saying anything about this. They're not talking about the risk and the danger. Now, I will say this about Cardi B. Say whatever you want about Cardi B. Cardi B did warn women about getting injections, okay? Because she had injections. She she claimed she got them taken out, and she did warn about that. But all these women who claim to love and appreciate other women, they're not going out here to warn their fellow woman the dangers of getting these dangerous surgeries, I don't see none of them saying nothing. They don't say nothing until there is a post put up about a woman losing her life in the Dominican Republic or whatever other country she's in. Now, all of a sudden you're seeing RIP. Oh my God, how could this happen? They want to blame the doctors who perform the surgeries, but these doctors wouldn't have been able to perform those surgeries if there were women who would speak out and say, y'all don't need to get BBLs. I just don't see it. And the sad thing is, is when you see women try to step up and speak out against getting BBLs, they get attacked. They get attacked. And they're not, you know, they're getting attacked by women who want to get it. These women want to. All these women want big butts for what? I don't see a lot of successful men marrying women with big old butts. It'd be these rappers and these thirsty athletes who be dating these types of women. But for the most part, a successful man does not want to be walking around with no woman with a big old wagon. Now he may screw women like that on the side, but when you see them out and about, when you see them, you know, with their families, they're not dating no big butt Instagram model or woman in it just it's not happening it's just not a but a large group of commenters zoomed in on the seventh slide 
of a video scissor took to in a bathroom. She panned to the camera up and down over her body before showing love for her hair in the mirror. Songstress wrote an orange Afro wig, wore a, an orange Afro wig, black swim shirt, and a black bikini bottoms where was a few uh here's what a few had to say say so you could sit a gallon of milk on that thing say so it's the booty slide for me hunted down your bb hunted down your bbl doctor to personally shake their hand and congratulate look at these comments this is ridiculous i bet you these from men has her lips been like this the whole time it's cool though but it seems unnatural am i tripping Why'd you get a BBL? Says the current success is everything she prepared for in life. A new interview with people the Nobody Get Me artists opened up about being bullied as an adolescent for being outspoken and awkward. I was bullied because I wasn't quiet and I was awkward at the same time. She said I wasn't this tiny, sad victim, but I was more so attacked just because it was giving what is wrong with you energy. She said, I always thought, oh, my God, I never have the approval of anybody, anyone in life. This must be my under. This is it must be my defining factor. That must be the bottom line. As an adult, the good days artists came to realize how her experiences helped shape her life today. I realized that all things that made me feel so lame were actually what made me into who I am, it's like it. I didn't go to prom because I didn't have any friends and I had no one to go to prom with. And now it's so weird that my life has turned in, into having a bodyguard while traveling to parties, SZA continued. All these things, if I had such fulfilling existence and experience in high school, I must have felt validated to the point to where I didn't need to do I uh, didn't need to do any more, so I just had to do more. I had to uh, had to be more because I was like, this experience can't be the end of it because if it uh, if it is, I am cooked. Well, again, it's good that she's having success. She's been in the music industry for a little while, and uh, you know she has a solid fan base. You know I don't think anybody is doubting that. Um, I, I just think that the whole messaging about getting surgeries, I think that these these women, if they claim to care about other women. They need to be out here talking to them and telling them about and warning them about the dangers of getting these surgeries. But they're not doing that. They're not doing that. And that's sad. Now, if you feel good about yourself, then that's fine. But there are a lot of other women out here who don't. And unfortunately, they're trying to follow what you do. And it's not always working out. So. Let me see in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next one.